Amen. Hallelujah. Amy, I'm almost there. All right. Uh, last week, Pastor made an announcement. Also, by we talked all on honor. Uh, but he rang me yesterday night and talk. Uh, he's got other commitments, so I'm like him because he blessed me now in the morning. So I'm not gonna preach on the subject that he mentioned last time. I asked him what to preach, but I'm talk you yet. So. I'll continue with the line of message that I left last week. Amen. The pops come stop or I will talk about honor because it's one big plus subject in which each and every one of us must know. Uh, and the only honor something for God is important to us. But before I continue, I would like to link up, you know, two plus our messages together. Uh, so let me talk to you know, uh, the ongoing work of Christ in the throne that defines a purpose of the church. All right, there are collective purposes of the church, but the definition for one purpose I will touch this morning. But I'd like to create a bridge. All right, believe me, because I was looking through the passages of the word. Now, me, Billy will send me, like, continue with the line of message that we said last week, believe me. So, you know, like, Bible talk long, uh, Luke chapter 6, verse 38. It talks about the attitude of giving, the human life, right? I mean, but in the return, when the Lord comes back to us, He comes back to us, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Because God knows that we have neighbors. The running over portion and measure is for those who are our neighbors, where we could reach them with the same grace that we receive of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, church, you must understand one thing that there is a grace to give from God, right? And there is also a grace to receive from the same God. I give by the grace of God, and you must receive by the same grace. There is a grace to give, and there is a grace to receive. Hallelujah. So position your hearts. I, I'd like to set the tone for this love by beginning in beginning on the message of this morning. Long uh, one plus parable of Jesus Christ. Before I connect with the word, uh, which I will say, now but we continue on the line of message from last week, and I'll talk on footstool. All right, we talk about throne, but I like also to major on footstool because we are where footstool is. Amen. It's a very powerful place, but if we have understanding to what first to is, it can really, really help us shift our mindset to the right position. So our belief system, once it becomes affected, uh, it affects our, our you know, behavioral patterns. How people can behave, conducting in the end, our mindset and everything, all right? Now, God is talking about you put on the mind of Christ. It's a mindset of God, all right? There is other mindsets that are also available in the world. Uh, you put him up guard and watch good what enters you and me. Also, let me give plenty of warning. Uh, talk, talk, also, Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. Bible talk, uh, be careful and be, be very wise that no one deceives you. All right? Whoever speaks to you, you must be careful and what you are picking up from whoever and whatever. We read a lot of newspapers, we read a lot of news from television, all kinds of things like that. Also, now God is putting more banish, Lord, you will know, help him, Mipla, so that we cannot go away from his will. Amen? All right, I'll, I'd like to start off in, uh, like, uh, this way, in Mark chapter 4, where Jesus began again to teach. All right, Bible, let me talk, Lord, there's a place in the Old Testament, the Bible, let me talk, also, the teachings of the Lord are going to fall upon us like rain. This morning, I'd like to welcome the rain of God upon this church again, the teachings of the Lord God Almighty. Amen? Amen. You see, God taught when he was in the physical form on earth. Today, we are the physical embodiment and the representation, representation of the life of God, life of God. In Christ Jesus, fellowship, Bible talks and we preach the Lord. That means that to the full satisfaction of God in his own heart, how do we decide him? I please him. That the fullness of the deity to dwell in a body form of a man. So even though God is eternally sovereign and he possesses heaven, then he possesses earth. Alright? Heavens are not bigger than God. 
God is bigger than heaven and earth. That's why you hold heaven and you hold earth together. But it pleased God, it pleased God that the fullness of the deity to make his dwelling in a body form. But that body was crucified on the cross of Calvary, buried, stayed there for two days, and on the third, it got resurrected, glorified, and is right now in the heavenly places. But it is not limited there. Listen, Bible never talks about so the wisdom of God, and you got big planner. It says beyond limit what you think you mean. Sometimes the ball, because you may look at the context of the body movement that's on the head, no matter, and that's all. But when you look at God, even though He is a complete being, it's got a physical head like us and a physical body sitting out there, but spiritually the whole person of His being out there is the head of a body that's the chest that is alive on earth. Amen. Amen. I'll say now. I mean, God is here. God taught, but God is still teaching today. The rain of His Word, the rain of His Spirit has not stopped. It is still continuing to flow freely. Because, you know what? Bible, let me know, you come to me free. I give you free. There is no cost to that. Amen? Talk to God and be free, like you mean. Now, Jesus began to teach by the seaside, and they was gathered together unto Him. All right? On money, boom, boom, now, only got toward him. I would like to say, this is what has only said you something like, but in the Lumina, Mila Togo said. When we come to the Lord, let's gather ourselves together, individually. Collect yourself together. Pull yourself up together. Bring your mind to the right place. Organize your heart so that you will meet the man. True. Amen. Then get it together. You collect yourself together. Arrange your own mindset. Finish for you, finish for you, finish your finish and my finish. Make sure that your feeling line up well because in the time when Jesus want to teach, he means business. He wants his word to reach us. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a collective group of people that gather together in one place. But when Jesus wants to reach us, we have to gather ourselves together. Collectively as a unit, together as a corporate company of believers in one single house. But at the same time, individually, we have to collect ourselves or gather ourselves together. Pull ourselves up. If our thinking is going elsewhere or going away from God and whatever it is that is, you know, you care yourselves. Pull yourself up together because we have to come face to face with God for him to teach us of his ways. They was gathered unto him a great multitude. We might be gathering to men, to please men, yeah. But this is not a gathering to please Peter or John or whoever. But it was a gathering together, pulling up together so that I would now devote myself, commit myself directly to the Lord. So whatever the Lord has for me today, I will not miss out on receiving it in fullness. God gives the Spirit with a measure. The portion in which the Lord delivers to us every time is in fullness. Amen. Hallelujah. Now the morning you mean one one you may come. God got full mess up with you. Me promising you. You ready to believe you, but you're not going empty. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God, you know what the one talk system God. I mean, one, you know, by one side of the world she pick now. I mean, less than one way. Uh all land of the place, maybe one beg. Uh, my brother Gideon is there. Look uh, at God is a fair God. Amen. God is just in all his ways and dealings. Whenever you want to distribute something, he is given and fair. Bible and God said the throne of God is established upon the foundation of justice, equity, and righteousness. That is the governmental foundation of God's authority and dealings, even in ministry, even in our lives. So when he comes to us, he knows. How to organize himself so that in righteousness he'll meet us. In equity he'll meet us. In justice and mercy he'll meet us. Hallelujah. God is fair. God is just. Great multitude gather together. So whatever it is of yourself and myself. I mean, me as is a chess. I better collect myself together. Anything that is an enemy that will stop me now from the place of freedom to receive from God, I pull them down. Even whatever is going through my mind, Miss Samuel said, every disturbing feeling is blowing me 
enemy I go to I know all the enemies in over time blow you. When I come to God, all of myself must be committed to Him, even my mind. Yes, Lord. Amen. If the house can pull up this way, and we commit ourselves like this to God, listen, church. The fullness that the Lord brings today, we will go with that fullness. Individually, at the same time, collectively together as a unit of uh, uh, as a church. And he taught them many things in by parables. Or right, the other thing is, he entered into a ship. Alright? As a position of elevation. He found a place that is honorable because he gave regard to the word, because the word must reach the people from a higher plane. Let's give this honor to God. That whenever the Lord comes, it's, you even the Lord and said it. But our hearts are positioned in such a place that it gave liberty to the word of the Lord to be delivered with spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is trying to see. He knows the people, but not only because he's moved by the crowd. He is not moved by the crowd. He knows the honor and the value of the word that is in him. That's why he must find a place for the word to be, to be delivered from a very good place that is honorable to God. So I find him sin. So then he can give him an elevation so that the power of voice blowing again go no plow. Now we have the aid of instruments like this. But then they they don't have. But one of the things that I drew from that is that is the position of elevation. And I believe, church, if our hearts are right and we give the place of honor to the Lord, let the word proceed from that place. The word will create an impact. Amen. I'm so not recipient. I'm going to go. See, he pulled out from the crowd so that he can't find a place that is elevated. So the word must find a place of honor before it is released to the people for that to receive. If we can give that place to God now, I believe something will happen in our lives. Amen. Amen. So he taught them many things, many parables. The grace for the Lord to teach you is still present today, any day, any time of the week, and the days of our lives. God wants to still teach us. Now, I mean, how can or listen? Behold, there went a seller to Saul. And he came to pass as he saw, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. We will not allow that to happen in our lives. Amen? Amen. We have to fight. The enemy or whatever enemy you saw there. Believe us with me, say this. We are God. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 You go back to history that we all know. In Genesis, darkness covered the earth. Spirit of the Lord hovered over the earth, over darkness, sorry, and over the earth as well, yeah. But then the Lord spoke, let it be. That word provided the foundation for everything to change. Amen. And the enemy knows if the word is removed, we will not have a foundation that is strong enough. True. For our own life. True. Or cinema, you must look, 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 valuable talk for big man. The importance that it, it has for ourselves as well. Consider the word. God never used a message. God never used what we know today called technology. But in fact, out of his wisdom, out of the word of the Lord, we see what we call technology today. Give me that machine, give me that car, give me that bounce, give me that rocket, give me that gun to fight. Now you need a top machine for people because you be finding strong instead of gun to fight. Or whatever we have. But God used the power of his word. By the word, everything came to be. We see the evidence of the word. And the enemy knows there is power in the same word. And the word doesn't lose its power. Hallelujah. Oh, sit now. We don't make a deal with you, you Church, you must not look at it. All our things are going to say. But the door, heaven and ground will pass away. And straight to the door. What do you mean like you like me, Mr. Shimia? You got life spent, Mr. Shimia. You got... Expiring day, brother. Even day by come, then God will destroy everything. But the Bible says, the word of the Lord endures forever. Amen. Amen. That's the only thing that can never be destroyed. And the enemy knows the word is indestructible. The word endures forever. When all they are saying, the word will still be. So, 
same blow them through. You know, trying to play with some black game, blow them so that men will fall into his deception and lies. Now, uh, we lose our foundation, the word, and that he can now rob our lives and many things can happen that we, want, we would not want to happen in our life or it can come up. But listen, let's listen to the Lord and treasure and talk inside. Now we talk, talk put on the wayside. I pray that uh, no wayside, talk will not land on wayside in our hearts today, but it will land on feather soil in our hearts. This morning is Jesus' Lord. name. Amen. Let, let's give God a run. Like I said earlier, let's gather ourselves. For the purpose of the word to find its proper place in our lives. Collect ourselves together. Give the highest place of honor to that which is indestructible. The word of the living God. Some play put on a stone place. Barely pass. It's strong for whatever reason. I don't know. For whatever reason, bend no money lock. Because the moment bend no money lock, you can look in your face, brother. How very tight. How very look, look. How very glassy, man. Our facial expression can really so our hearts. You believe the world in place he left. Who lied over a line? A man who can hide. But you see, you, you, you don't rob another man, I don't rob another person. We rob ourselves. The one can add value to us. What can change us? The world. Amen. Some <laughs> Can you not bless no good here? But then in verse 7, then we talk about, verse 7, then we talk about, fell upon thorns, uh, and grew up, then we'll curse ground here. Ground full of the curse, the mixture of blow, something that is not according to the nature of Christ's life of holiness and purity and righteousness and fairness and love and peace and mercy. Look up! And put on a hanging place. But then, then we talk, and others fell on good ground and uh, did yield a good fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth something. That, that is what the word is supposed to bring about in our lives. Amen? We believe because God being our father, I a big papa. I mean, like a good person, something may come up from me. So I'm mean, going to like him or say, Rock me, listen to you, me. Stone is not a gamble of Not being a father to his children, he would want put a fetal story to be in our lives. Because then the word will find free expression. Full expression from it. And what is in the world can now we can realize if fruit belong and impact belong and life belong me. But the sour, I mean the sour, you know, I mean sour and seed. Seed is not for us to grind it and make it bread. Seed is for sowing. We have to give allowance for seed to grow. So most people are grinding them and people are like finishing them right up. The whole harvest can be robbed. When the word comes to us, it comes in seed form. That's why we have to mix it with faith. God give him total instruction to meditate and dwell upon the same word until it grows up to a full maturity plan of a life of so that we could now receive the whole harvest that will come from that seed that we have received. If we grind that seed, we will not give it opportunity to grow and give us our full harvest. <laughs> you begin you know, uh, potential belong in Haria. And we deny ourselves the opportunity to see the Full harvest that can, it can come by the seed. Based on this platin thing, I would like to go all the way to what I said last week. About the prayer of Jesus. When the disciples asked him, he made mention of something. And we touched him last week, so when we build this level of Genesis, and then I will come to the ministry of Christ with the right hand of the Father right now in the heavenly places. It's not sitting. Some would think that you get to heaven and uh, you just sleep. No. Jesus is not sleeping in heaven. And since he's the first born amongst many brethren, and he's the first fruit long resurrection, and what he's doing out there, that is exactly what we will be doing, and we are doing now, we're going to continue on the same ministry. 
Alright, Matthew uh, chapter 6, the verse 9, let me talk. After this, manner, in the similitude, blood is like pattern, I'd like you to also, as I commune with God, uh, you observe from me, so I instruct you, I teach you the pattern. I give you the order that is pleasing according to God, it is the order of, uh, of God, and a righteous man's feet is ordered by the Lord. And God doesn't lead the steps of a righteous man away from his own. Is tenant of righteousness and godliness. So Jesus knows that. Now tell me, me this morning, look, after this man, are you pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. All right? Let name blow you stop holy. Name blow you tasuni must stop on the blow all that are named that I know of. My name might be Arnold, and my family might give me name Arnold in relation to all this love, connection of family member, all same or same. Only name me according to this land and all same, all same, all same. I need be any storyline long, line long. You mean a family? That's why I am called Anno because you got one plan all this stuff. Or I need be any like Anno or you call him Anno. I mean, I mean, that also. We've got all kinds of names, but Jesus knows. All same not. And be placed in this plan. Oh, I go to name the Papa. Now be the color would be your name, but like that, I mean, the Thy kingdom come, and You will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. I mentioned that last week. When I talked about the altar being part of the Lord's will, altars are God's design and God's will. And have something in me like me play rectum or like blow me play or place you start blowing in. Thy kingdom come, your will be done. It's not that we just hear it. God's interest is the will of the Lord must be done on earth. And I said last week, earth is the footstool of the Lord. Earth, I mean, not created by the devil or men. Earth, I mean, volume over this atmosphere that we have. And that will start on moon is part of this. And part of the It's a part of this world. Now Jesus is all. Your will be done. You know not have something, but the will of the Lord be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now Jesus he looks at it. Also crown and footstool of God. Heaven is the throne of the living God. That's where the Lord rules. But little people are you hang them up in the space. So say we hang them up, you know me, probably we will hang them up too. But full soon, God's gonna fit. Amen. So Jesus is making this little talk now. Let me talk. What kind of somebody is in the heavens? We don't see heaven physically, but we know the reality of heaven by faith. You will not look him on the physical eye, believe me, but by faith we know, according to the word of God, that there is heaven and there is earth. You know, we not look at Jesus Christ physically, but by faith, through the word, we believe that there is a Jesus. Now, Jesus, you know, the order of things on earth must be done this way. The exact blueprint that is in the heavens, something is done in heaven, must be done on earth. Whenever something is not see a king blow God or throne blow them, he must come up blow place ground. <coughs> so earth is the footstool of the living God. Genesis chapter 3 in verse 15 after 4. Temptation come up now. Satan spirit ya. Emma what body? So I mean, look, look, when it's not body, but we can use him. Now we look, creation from God. He could not come straight to Adam. But he chose an innocent creation of God called a snake. Now I mean, pass through, look, like, every little body of a snake. And you see, tangle a snake. Now snake, you know, some of the top place from man, but yet, when the devil took the body of the serpent, it can communicate with an understandable, intelligible language that men could understand. I mean, 
So we should be looking the context for literal body of a snake. Now, all of us know, you go to the body a snake now. Tang to me, you can't tell me about it. But you are a John too, Peter too, Mary too, Marco, whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe he said something like, he's in sound. But when the devil took the body of a snake, he communicated with a language that even Adam and Eve understood. That's an abuse. So that is what the devil does. That may become an abusive body. It makes you take a form of a language. You can communicate, but that language now will fall below the level of divine wisdom. He never communicated in the language of divine wisdom. Therefore, it was easy to deceive the woman and she fell into sin. But, you know, whatever he did, every the same of them is superior in Muslim. Or every problem on the ground. God was always caught. God was always a Lord. He was always King. He was always the Almighty God. He never changed. He saw everything that took place on earth. And saw it. Snake all over the marriage. Now you're going to go to the other side of the snake. Snake, I don't know what you're going to do with the snake. But somehow, snake took off. Now, Mary understood it. Took off. I don't know what snake. And that guy, fish, I mean, that guy, fruit. Snake, human being, now fruit. Three blood different body of God. But snake, took off. Man, now man, get all in the world. But the language was the link between them. But it was a fallen wisdom that the woman fell into. And there is the same wisdom that is present in the world today. And that wisdom is challenging the wisdom of God that is building God's house. God never finished. Enemy come. Creation never seen. Even in the Dubai, whatever Mary Kaikalonen, and no it was not so good. It became a subject because creation was subjected to the logic of men. That's why. The wife being innocent, every day he could create the people who he is not this level of righteousness now, holiness now. Maybe when he make him say, hey, mama, but come on. The woman was the Lord over the, 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 the food. Also, the easy, the food gave him. She already bought into the wisdom of the snake, but God was never defeated. Yes. Hallelujah. What happened, happened below, but it never affected the heavens. God's throne was in position. God's throne was always in power. God's throne was always in command. God's throne was always in rule. To demonstrate that, we'll see it in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15. After all the something finished, God come on and pass in judgment all that. So was all people of God, very much, ah, what are the judgment? Heaven upon me. I don't say the same. Ah, heaven upon me. Satan come up to believe us, let me go. But when God spoke, every one of them knew that we were created by the same God. Even snake, not Satan, not Mary, not man, they all accepted whatever God asked. Amen. <laughs> no one was not fighting God. No one was not challenging God. All I know, yes, I'm a soul. They were going to believe that she was challenging God. And God will keep you and will keep him in the ground. Now, in the way you are judged, Satan surrender, snake surrender, Mary surrender. Everybody surrender. And God said in verse 15, and I will put an enmity between you and the woman. I saw this the middle of God. Let this enmity rise in the church so that we will hate the devil and hate him. Some of us are loving the devil like he's a dog friend. They caught the people put him in meeting the middle, picking him from Mary and you. I pray if this is God's design, then I welcome that enmity of being us and the devil's children. We'll not let the devil in any one bit. We'll hate him. In hating the devil, we will not give our lives to him. That he will enslave us and use us for his whatever purpose. And we look at like an enmity in the middle of Papa God. If that enmity is absent in the church of Jesus Christ, because that enmity made Jesus go on the cross. I mean, I'll put that enmity. That was God's design. So the Son went on the cross for the enmity to be fulfilled that the devil was beaten down. And I pray, if that enmity was found in the crucifixion of Jesus to beat the devil down, I pray the same enmity to be found in the church. So that we will not love the devil. Bible, I hate him, man, I hate him. Amen. Amen. 
Hitler. Yes, yes. And Mickey is an irreconcilable Hitler. When no one plays no one way. By no one, whether from time into eternity, you will remain enemy forever. And I pray that that enmity will work. It was released on the cross. I know love for us brought us there. But also the enmity against the devil made Jesus to go on the cross. So that the devil can be hit on the head. Amen. It was the love for us, for our salvation. Jesus was put on the cross. But at the same time when you look, enmity, namelon, piggity bro, this lameria, one time big. But you know what I'm mean? Jesus won the blood cross. Lo in this life. But you know what one man, you by die. Satan must die. When the Lord said that, maybe the devil was thinking. No, when they run through through my guru, they had blow me. Probably he never thought that in death he will be defeated. He never saw that. Because when he came to the garden, Eva never died. Adam didn't die. He communicated with living beings. Nine winning more. I mean, that we win not that much of life here. I think maybe we need more later on. Then Jesus was still living. He tested him three times. He failed. He came again. Look at him with the The will of the Lord was tested. But he never thought that Jesus probably would have died. In that place, when somebody died, that's when the devil is going to lose. Amen. 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 I will put a meeting between you and Maria. Now, now we are beginning to you. The woman symbolically, today they say this is a church. Between you or even a nation that a church would be born, but that how? From. <coughs> All right? And Jesus being the head of the church, we are part of the seed. That came out of the room. Now this is like enmity stuff. Now me you know that now me better and true to us. But this is like grace blow, enmity blow. Now me you know that Satan by walk strong with me so you will and I will never love anything that is not the devil and of the world. One black and irreconcilable hand and hatred blow world by kissing me that you can look at person on the blow. I hate him now. We will look like it, even though it might have some kind of little bit of glory in it that is placed on you and me or pulling you but because of that enmity in our heart, we will look at it and we will hate it. So that we will stay on the straight and narrow in following the footpaths of the living God and stay true to the standards of righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And between your seed and the seed, it shall bruise your head and you shall bite this heel. That's why now see you go to some like a hill no man. And bless me like basically but I'm not gonna tram no but you can let me know tram making me walk about karate. Then you don't got heal, but you don't got balance. Mr. True. Then you don't see heal blow you, body blow you go off, but you don't got balance or walk about strength. He is a way keeping balance with you me. Now you by you trying to fight him, he'll be on the knock him and off course so that he'll lose balance and go off track from the path of righteousness and the mission in which I'll send him. But he will still fail because the devil was beaten on the cross. Amen. You can fight him, he'll be on but he will not lose his balance. He will not subject himself to your temptation and he will not give it to any form of compromise that you offer to him. He will not give in because of the enmity. But send me by the same spirit by kissing you. Amen, church. A strong blow goes down on this lap place. Time's down of God will be blah. Mask is Satan. But you only have blame to put him under the leg blade. So time Jesus will give you school on all disciples and we talk. Light and light blow God. Let your will that is in the heaven where the throne is be done on earth where the footstool is. Because she knows the enemy must be placed under the footstool of the reign of the Almighty. Amen. 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 So Jesus, you know, to Pishinati. He was looking from this end to this end, this end, this way. So I'm talking about 
competition and in the competitive each other, there's one player, few alliance law, teaching one of them, but there's got lots of things inside of it. When it said heaven, it refers to the throne. He talks about the will there. And he understands something about the will. Then he talks about the earth. It was a specific mention. It was specifically mentioned. He knows this is the footstool of God. He knows the prophecy that the enmity will be placed between the seed of the woman and as well as the woman and the devil. He knows that scripture must come to pass. So when the disciples were asking him, he said, let God's will in the heavens must always also be done on earth. Where's the footstool is? Because the enmity is based on God's prophecy. And the enmity between me and the enemy, the will of God must come to pass. That earth being the footstool now must subject his enemies under it. We are living on earth. Our physical body is part of this world, this earth. Bible told the last enemy is called death. Now we will eventually walk over it and nobody's gonna die again. Amen. Who said you almost stop lying all time all time? Who said you like that? No one man like that. Morning. Yeah, you bless that boy. Thank you, Jesus. So, since the earth is the footstool of the Lord and uh, God's will is that the enemy must be subjected to the rule and the reign of Christ, we are the physical embodiment of Jesus Christ on earth. You, 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 mean, you mean of Los Cipita Solo, Morobeta Solo, Engada Solo, Sausta Solo, you know, whatever that place you mean, you know, we're not just from Papua New Guinea. But we are God's physical embodiment. Blow life blown and blow planet earth where the footstool of the Lord is. We are ruling with God, Bible talk, in the heavenly places. But let me bless an angle crown where the footstool of the Lord is. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You know, in Romans, the Bible says, God subject him over the creation. He was in a place, I mean, hiding all in a place called bondage or slavery. You know what I mean? Because grounding make him sin. The apple, not whatever tree that Mary a kai kai, you know, come in the one plus one. And make him sin. No one on the cow to make him sin. No one snake to make him sin. No one gold or silver make him sin. Sin stuff on the man. God subject him creation belong and you go. Now me talk him. He's waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Come up to you now become a place for manhood in Christ will cause the release of what is hidden in God. The creation that is meant for your lordship to come, Lord. Administration for you and me. The service for you and me will be released. That's why our sons of status is important to us. We must all the time not just come for church. Come and major on you and me becoming sons for the release of the Lord's creation that God has subjected to bondage because of the fall of man in the beginning. Yes, Lord. It's in the will of God the release of the creation. Why is it that it is not given to the sons? Because he has not found maturity yet. A lot of immaturity. Maturity come up, Lord said, Lord, selfishness, nah, greed, nah, German, nah, you know, every science for immaturity. But a true son is not greedy. A true son can never be selfish. You are in the fullness of the stature of the Son of God in Christ. And you can never see greed in Jesus, lies in Jesus. Selfishness and stinginess in Jesus? No! So creation has been subjected to wait for the maturity. Play unit. Also, my brethren, let me say this. When we come to a place like this, in a morning like this, let's position ourselves for our deliverance. Because God is preparing the creation to be released unto the sons. It's part of his footstool. That's why he subjected it to that place of his rulership. And the enemy can never gain entry there once the Lord secures it. He protects it and he catches it. It's for you and me. We are the only ones in Christ.
Christ Jesus that has the access to it. But we have to reach that place of maturity of becoming a son unto God in the stature of Jesus Christ. Then what is ours will be released from that place. Amen. Now, let's go to this message with me like Shalom and the ongoing work of Christ at the throne that defines a purpose of the church. We are a church. A part of the corporate body of the Lord Jesus Christ, Him being the air. The air provides the vision, it provides hearing, level of understanding is divine. That's why the Bible says in Isaiah, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of revelation, knowledge, and wisdom, the spirit of the Lord and God in, is upon me. In Luke chapter 4, verse 18 down, this way he said, the spirit of the Lord and God is upon me. All right? Spirit of the Lord and God, spirit of wisdom and understanding and uh, revelation and of the fear of the living God and counsel is upon me. We are a church of Jesus Christ. And you must have no here to continue on with the same purpose. You know what Jesus is doing on the cross of Calvary. I'm sorry, at the throne of the Lord. In a position of authority and power. And we can talk with the whole power. What about the all? All. All means he leaves nothing out. No power out. It's all inclusive. Given to Jesus. From that position of the all authority and all power from the Father. And you don't know, heaven and ground given to me. You, you try thinking, what kind of power of heaven and ground given to God? Jesus Christ. Whatever power that we know of that is now present in general, the world will live in. It will live in, live in fragments that's all there. But the superior power that commands and holds the heavens together and holds everything on earth together so that only the set up the position of all now. If you're going to live in life, you're going to play here and there and whatever, whatever. It's because. The power of love all in heaven and ground here. How about to give a hand to Jesus? Also that you're holding all things together. Heaven is in place. Ground is in place because of that authority. Now with the that one is the power and authority, me command you to go. I authorize you to get into all the nations and disciple them. From the place in which you subject to me, and you come under the same power and same authority in which the Father places on me. You come under the same government. You come under the same grace. You may walk about and go and pick for some days. Because when the Lord said, all power is given to me, you know power of the Holy Spirit, all power of the heaven and ground given to me, you know power of the Holy Spirit, Sleep. Now what the morning time when we come again now? Kiss him on my mirror, Philip Longena. Or do go sleep long heaven. No. That power is for service. That power is for rulership. That power is for government. That power is to enforce the will that is in the heaven where the testator, the same person Jesus died. He activated the will. He made the will come into effect or force. In Hebrews Bible, you know, one protestator, and his name is called Jesus. When the testator died, the will is in force. It gives power to the will. It gives power to the testament. It gives power to the covenant. Hallelujah. That's why let me say this. The new covenant is power based on the death of Jesus. Being the testator that died. <coughs> Tell me, Mr. Panda, about the work of the power now. And you know, she know nothing, nothing. He knows that a place called earth is the full stool of the Father. So, in collecting us together like this, so that we could now, and the administering grace, we will enforce and make sure the will in the heavens, where Jesus with all power and all authority rules, that we are under that rulership. By that power now, we could execute the will of heaven on earth. The ongoing work of Christ in the throne. Acts chapter 2, verse 34 to 36. Uh, Christ is called the exalted son, as we know. 
For it was not David who ascended to the heavens. All right? And quotation with book of Psalms here. That's where the reference when the apostle wrote the book of Acts, he was, I mean, I mean giving clarity on this line because David quote the said that. By the spirit, David, when he ruled, he saw into the future. Just me like him, it's like I did. If you like him or not, but you stop on now, but you can look towards 2022. You can look, look, you go to 10 years from where you are. Where people blow you by God about, or 20 years where people man blow you. Well, he came up the house land and move, said, You can look somewhere. They will stop to see a king blowing out, you look, look, come here, do not know. The Lord said to my Lord, David being a king, see, but he could enter into the heavenly place, he could enter into the spirit, and he saw communication between two lords. Amen. He was a man, but he could see lords conversing. He could see lords communicating with each other. And he could also understand their language. And man look round the Lord. The Lord said to my Lord. So one Lord was communicating with another Lord. And here is David, being a Hebrew man, could understand the language of two lords. And he picked up the message and he understood the message well. This is our privilege, it's our honor. They be here, but by the spirit you could understand what's in the heavenly place. When the lords are communicate, communicating with, with each other. When the right Jesus in the right hand, definitely you must be talking with the one that is on your left. The father is communicating with the one in the right, and the right is communicating with the one on the left, the father. So there is communication, conversation going on every day. But what they are saying, I pray the church will rise by the spirit to understand what is communicated in 2021. It is not religion. This is life. Hey, David Manu see you in a mirror. I'm still them kings. That's why I'm not to man. Don't just sing him, sing him. And man go down this too. And big like king. That's why you got time, time, book is contra time, and me, but nobody is supposed to go to stop. Everyone's in close, blah, 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 and I'm saying this in close, you go low. Close to the pattern, you miss a man, you didn't close. So they would give him access to go closer because he cannot go with the garment of a king. Closer to the ark, he can only access it by the garment of the priest. That's why he changed his clothing. Now, can is blowing them down is not the next level. Many blame killers. Many blame and wish them blame down. Yeah, you big lamb and you are not papa. You king, you bring in the same law house here. Yeah. You make it a name from blah, whatever. You don't know, name blah, you know, you can make it. You do, yeah. Mama, you can stop the thing, blow you. But I'd rather submit to my God. Amen. And you listen, what wisdom is speaking to you? Yes, and choose the wisdom of God. Then so I gave them the girl, the girl, the wisdom, you gave them the right, because the wisdom you're going to run with your wife. And I mean, I'm not like him, I'm not like him, man. But David was wise enough not to choose that words, because I'm sorry, but it's a tongue of wood. Yes. I'm not too black. And we put a lot of ground, go past the judgment, and you know, I'm not around that now. Stay around the ground, so I'm ground level with them. Some of us is not from the, the wisdom from above, so they will reject it. And that is the next level. Yeah. You know, some of us, sometimes, you know, deceiving thoughts can keep your mind from the plan. Rob us of the, you know, golden opportunity that big man come along your street, you should have long in a glass in that song. All right, they were feeling good, yeah. In a body, you understand me. You go to Ibi Blagona, you shall have You go to Marie Maritula, and even you come to Saba, you meet him again. When it be here, now I'm coming for you. Jump in. No good tomorrow for you, but you think what's tomorrow? I believe you. Tomorrow for you might be 10 years, 20 years. True. And then tomorrow in your mind will never come until 20 years after. By then, I'm going to come to the moon. Moon is in that place. You know what? Don't postpone the will because the testator has already enforced it. He died. Can never create no more delay. I pray for God's grace for speed to be done. Amen. We must be fast and quick to be the living God. Yes, Lord. That's for our benefit. Yes. In His glory, my benefit. My advantage, my profit. That's what the Bible says. For your good, your profit and advantage, I come by my spirit. 
Amen. So David, look, 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 tomorrow, look, look, I'm looking future, look, 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 all the Lord said to my Lord. And Samuel said, he, he already secured that tomorrow because when the Lord was bigger than the present and future began to communicate, and David from where he was could ascend to the place that look, look, into his tomorrow from the plane where the Lord was communicating and with the high ever secure future. Yes, Lord. That's why he was not afraid to dance and to be free the color of Muhammad. Now talk out to God, you give me, you just give me the blueprint. I'll build you your house. Now God don't know that. Me like the bell you. That's a hand you pull up the plant, the blue blow man and me. Me don't like the blue blow man or top of me. No. But I'll choose somebody else from your own loins. You know, the promise of God. You got loins, I got loins, we got a fit tomorrow to secure. Let's rise by the spirit and understand what the Lords are communicating. The father and son. The son is not sitting on a in holiday time, a sinan, a man or a thing. There is a conversation between the two up in the heavenly places. If David can gain access and Jesus promised the disciple, where I go, there you shall also be. Aaron has the same promise. Where Jesus is, I can access. They say, whatever the Lords are communicating between themselves, I believe I can understand. And if I can know that, I have a secure future. On Pikinina, Pupuna, whatever that's going to come after me, they are safe in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord said to my Lord, please, can we, can we follow after David? The Lord said to my Lord, everybody said, the Lord said to my Lord. The Lord said to my Lord. There is a Lord, and there is a personal Lord below you, but there is a Lord that is above your personal Lord. We are under two, two lordship blood. Papa and I begin. You think him two blood one day sit down and tap you? Get it, Papa God. Who said to move him? You people are in a man to mass. You, you think him? Amen. One lord, next lord, now nah, this is you. Aya, Papa. You trap you move order the government. You don't have opposition. You front man. You start the government straight. Government no go, you know. <laughs> uh, that's why you got ministry blue, ministry portfolio blue, you. and to blah, Lord, to blah, design him, not to blah, you say, now you can go like this, you can be a prophet, you can be a priest, you can be a king, you can be a this, you can be that. And ministry portfolio blue, you know, come on, See that my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. I like it. When I saw the earth, I forstood. Now me looking Bible read long. Remember, Romans story of them is subjecting creation. He goes side no bondage for the liberty of the sons. When they find a place, that the temporary hold that the Lord placed over the creation, God be uplifted. So that he frees the creation back to become subject to the sons. Because in in no eternal thing thing not plan of God before yet is that the creation must not be subject to anybody except his own sons. That's why Adam was a son of God. Amen? I talked to you about the two Adams already. The first Adam was the living soul. But the second Adam is a life-giving spirit. Now Adam is a man ground. I mean, we said him the one man. I mean, malas, gold, silver, you know, ring him if he's a good one, 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 he's we will come no order from the second Adam, which is called a life-giving spirit. Oh, yes. And Adam, being the son of God, was given the honor of becoming Lord over the creation. Creation was his subject. Earth was part of his world and he lived. That's what sin come now. God hide him. All right. And he went in, that's what come up and he walk in. That's why church, when we have church, you know, we're not going to heaven, that's all. Morning, I am going to heaven. But we like him, you know, our ministry, the lifetime, we will crown him up and go past the name, when we're right down. And this thing, people, you want me to sit down on me. Go ahead and I'm secure. You, you, you're already there. But you will run on the ground yet now. 
Sampai skin pen di sini belum dibela. Bego sih kan promise tuh istape. Bego susu tuh belum kau dengar istape. Kau nora sih lagi belum ground, morning. So Jesus Bible itu, you sit down go here. Sit down ini nomino sem. I mean, let, la 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 now, all the work is complete. You do nothing. Sit down, nothing, 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 nothing. Sit down, tasho lingo iwa mas bayar lo ground ya you give. 20 years, 30 years, 1,000, 2,000 years, don't want Mary die, born, die, born, die, born, die, born, die, born, die, born, no you, sit down, sit down, sit down. So Jesus cannot be sitting for 1,000 years in a chair. Money. You try, mama kare mimi ne misi na no chair all this time. Over the muscle bleed of it, that day you would kiss him the tinti no sana, but you put on the floor. True. It is not sitting, meaning what said, it's doing nothing. Sitting means you have a place of rest that now to God is finished that all your enemies now are your subjects. Your footstool now is free to move about when all your enemies now is stop and you rule above and over them. Creation will also subject to that and when we look at the earth is the footstool of the Lord. Now enemies become your footstool. They go on the way. This earth is also the footstool. What do they? I live on this earth. Now, will you God, you know, heaven, Bible, it all say, let your will in heaven also be, be done on earth. Now, we talk, here I am, still alive on earth, and God teaching me, so that God, the will of them, must be done here. Not when I'm absent, when I'm present, the will that is out there, in my lifetime, I will witness its fulfillment here and now. What conscience or pertains to this time in 2021? David is not alive on earth in 2021. King Solomon is not alive on earth in 2021. Abraham is not alive on earth in 2021. It's Hanno, it's Ashley, it's Gideon, it's Mary, it's whoever we are. We are the ones that is alive with a physical body on this place called earth. And the will in heaven be done on earth must be done in and through our lives. Go to and make all your enemies. Now listen, one of the purpose of the church is to make sure all the enemies of Jesus Christ who are sitting up there in the heavenly place, all the enemy belonging must become footstool. They have to go under our feet. Footstool is the place that you place your feet on. I place my feet on. Tell me, enemy come to this place. That's where you place your feet on. Go back to Genesis and we talk. The sun, Plumeria, and the cross of head blew you. The way cross is the place that the devil washed. Now, Jesus sitting out there, and we took sit down, and we took him, what I did on the cross is finished. The power of the heavens and the earth is with me. Now I authorize you from that place. Go and let my enemies become your footstool. Psalms 110 and verse 2. The Lord will stretch forth your strong shelter from Zion. Zion is the city of God. It's the place of the Lord's rule, Lord's power, Lord's throne and authority and government and power. Now the Lord is a place here. Rulership may you become up again. It's no other proceed from the earth. And I thank God that we bring believers. We don't we're not as a proceed no. Thank God for all denominations that we have. No. Our rule proceeds from the place called Zion. That's why you go back to Hebrews chapter 12, when we talk to Moses, you have not now gone up to Mount Sinai, where the law was given to Moses. You have ascended the Mount of God called Mount Zion. And that's where we are ruling from right now. The power to rule, now we like security, we know God, no footstool land called the earth, comes from the place called Zion. Now Jesus took Peter, James and John to a high mountain and he was transfigured before them. Mimi Samuel is the story. And Simoli went up time to bed then. But more of prayer to us all. And going to encounter between heaven and earth. 
Angola went to a place where he knows this is the time God will come and meet me again. I'm not going to sleep. He knows, in his heart he knows. But he gave opportunity for triple man to be an imam so that they could also, you know, participate in the same thing, but they went to sleep. I pray today that as we are invited by the Lord, that you feel something like a tap of spirit, of God, and we're going to your spirit, you can't have a better ammo, can't have a restoring baby, rebuilding one dollar house, blow you. Please just do it. God is knocking at the door of your heart, inviting you to a place for a divine encounter. Yes, yes. It is not for churchianity. It is not for all kinds of religiosity that we know of. No, it is for encounter with God. It is for encounter with the heavenly places. It is for encounter with the throne of God where Jesus, your Lord, and my Lord is seated there on the right hand of God. Now he revealed to them what will happen in and through the body of Jesus which is the glorious church. All right? This is the time what happened there, the church was not born yet. But the church was in him. And the Bible also says in the New Testament that the church is the body of Jesus. So Jesus has a body. But the body got glorified. <coughs> so the glorification of the body was revealed to three foundation apostles. <coughs> because apostles will give the basis of correct sound doctrine. That's so why you go back to the book of Acts, it talks about the doctrines of the apostles. Doctrines of the apostles are not in all covenant letters. No, this came by revelation. Like Paul being an apostle of the new covenant said, I received by revelation. 14 years ago, I know one man that was caught up in the spirit, whether in the spirit of God, then I don't know. But God locked in all this together. Every leg was one. Now Paul walked into the realities of him, given see a difference between earth and heaven. His body is never differentiated between the spirit. Because when he got, got caught up in the place, he saw himself like there's no difference between this side and that side. Now, you have received revelations, floods of revelation, but God perfect him, body belong everywhere. Keep him in down because of the value of the revelations. To God, this was priceless. There were high power of revelations, but he concealed it. He gave it to Apostle Paul. Now, I mean, why did you give it to a foundation apostle? But he died. But the revelations being received by the foundation apostle. That founded the Gentile church. That's why the Gentile church, whatever the founding apostle received, he did not even release all of them, but they were released from the heavens already into, into his body. He received them while he died. He went on, but we are the results of his ministry. And the grace to access those revelations is now available. That's why you can see revelation after revelation are being unlocked today because a man went into heaven. Now the body of Jesus became glorified. Body will of Jesus and church will of Christ. And we say we go over three plus foundation, foundation apostles, not talking about it. That's what the glorious church is going to be like. Now to God, as you look back, you see, Jesus cannot be a head over a body that is full of sin and evil. No. He's a sinless son of God. Sinless lamb of God that became a sacrifice. And the head cannot be different from the body. Seamless son is head, body, complete. We have the spirit, we have the nature of Christ in us. Now, demonstration for this love, when the body became glorified, it speaks about the future. This is before the cross when they saw it. When he went onto the cross, he painted this body, now called a church, so that the glorious church that was revealed to the foundation apostles was better than the day of Pentecost. And we sitting here today, we are part of that glorious body called the church. That's why there is no reason for us to embrace shame, fear, all kinds of things like that. When the body that was revealed to the foundation of apostles was a glorious body. Hallelujah. Matthew 16, 28. Truly I say to you, there are some of you standing here, you're not going to die. Until you see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. That's a promise to the church. Because they were foundation apostles. As you establish the doctrine proper and you start to teach the church and they get into believing what you teach them, it becomes the dogma that shapes their belief system and their life becomes changed by the belief system.
Who are you going to see that kingdom come in? You're going to see him come in the fullness of his glory. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter. We are in this hour where the formation of the church full of glory. Hallelujah is appearing. Now, give me just five minutes and I'll rush, rush through all these little few other scriptures. So Jesus is not just sitting down. He is working to see all the enemies. One of the, the Bible says in Corinthians that the last enemy to be defeated is called death. Die in one blood friend. Die in be right. But I pray this like enmity God put in Namelo. The seed of the woman and Namelo, woman plus the seed against the devil. That enmity, I pray, grace for this liar, by walk stronger, you mean. That we will hate that devil. That we will not reconcile with him, no one can crowds. We will not give him room for reconciliation and whatever tells no whatever crowds. No God, man, no God. All right, one of the purpose of the church, that defines from that place, you will see that Jesus, but Papa talking, you chill out here, and the local enemies become the footstool. But when do you find the footstool? When you come down the reference block, heaven and earth, earth becomes the footstool. And definitely weeping the body of Jesus, the son, where the promise was made to the son, who is now right in, on the right hand of the father, his body called the church, we are on earth, and this is where the father's footstool is. The enemy must become subject to where the footstool is. That's where the rule and the rise of the church will become up. The promise is there already. So what must we as a church do since Jesus now has the promise? And he revealed to the disciples about the glorious body. It is the glory of the church of God in Christ Jesus. This glory is now appearing. The people is the glorious state of the maturity and manhood of Christ. The enemy will be there where he's supposed to be, a footstool. <coughs> and when I talk about the enemy, it's not just a devil. Enemy will use our fallen human nature. Not kind of old, kind of old sin, not gammon, not no good, not no head, but you mean, you know, this whole career will be under your feet. I hate the flesh, honestly. I don't know, but I just don't like it. Hey, you you almost in my really come. Oh yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is alone you throw me like you cry again. Oh Jesus, oh hallelujah, hallelujah. I hate the flesh because it's part of this enemy that must be subjected that becomes our first. Amen. Alright, this is one of the functions or the purpose of the church. One of the major purposes of the church is to bring all the enemies of Christ to become a footstool for the feet of the Lord. Ephesians 3 and verse 10, uh, so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. So you can see where the church comes in. Yes, yes. When the promise was given to the Son and all the enemies will become footstool and you find a church on earth, he said, now, according to the wisdom of God, all the rulers are preaching by the Lord will become subjects. Yes. This is one mission and a purpose of the church. Amen. Pretty politics will most be your garden healer. What a war. A street will you know me. All the village will know where the Papua New Guinea, Australia, or New Zealand, or uh, all kinds of enemies. One plan will be disturbing livelihood blown man around the world called Corona. But partly, you know, God being superior in his wisdom, he also says that every man will become shaken. And everything that has foundations will become tested and tried and shaken. So what will last will last, but what needs to go will go. So also I believe there is a time of shaking that is going on. But we have a secure uh, foundation in Christ, and we have a promise that all the enemies will become some chance. No one of our enemies will remain. That's a promise from the Father. That's why for us, like if you say, we talk, that a manifold wisdom of God might be made known through the church to the principalities and rulers in the heavenly places. And verse 11 says, uh, that was in accordance with the eternal purpose which he carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord. So according to the eternal purpose, he carried it out in, the, in our Lord Jesus. And the church being here, the according to the eternal purpose is that People must execute himself like karma until all the enemies of Christ become the footstool, where the footstool of God is on planet Earth. 
Hallelujah. Jesus is ruling where the throne is. But we are here where the footstool is. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Basically that, I stop. Thank you, Lord. Father, we praise you and I thank you. Can I ask all to stand?